Hello everyone. This video is intended to be a brief look at Pelican's M1000 Raid and Green Raid that came out this year in 2020. This is a stunning pen. And as you can see, the first thing that probably catches you are these uh, wide stripes. Normally we're used to seeing stripes with a width of about one millimeter. These are about two and a half, so significantly wider than usual. And they're put to good effect here, reflecting this beautiful, shimmering, colorful pattern. The base color appears to be green harvested from Australian abalone. Uh, and here you can see just this beautiful shimmering of colors as you turn it in the light. And of course, this is artificial light. It looks really beautiful out in sunlight as well. Uh, each pen is uh, individually numbered. You can see there at the top of the cap and also signed by the artist, which you can see there at the base of the barrel. The nibs are all Pelican standard uh, medium nibs for an M1000, so the pen will actually accept any M1000 nib uh, that you'd like to put in it. Interestingly, you, know, you get this dark green in ink window. You can see here there's a step, and it's hard to tell, hard to capture, but there's definitely a step. This is a much bulkier pen than what we've seen with other models, and it even feels like a larger M1000, even when you compare it to something like 2016's uh, Raiden. Uh, sunrise. Um, it's hard to capture on the on the camera, it's hard to capture on the video, but there's just a much larger bulk to it. Because you can see here on the sunrise, there's no step. You know, the barrel kind of goes straight into the ink view window. But here on the green ray, there's a very noticeable step and change in diameter. So the diameter is actually larger on the uh, green ray than it is on the sunrise. But it's nice to take a look at these two beauties together. The Sunrise came out in 2016 and also built off the M1000 chassis. Uh, and the uh, Green Ray is built off the M1000 chassis. And that can be, you know, juxtaposed with the last two releases that came out in the uh, Raiden series. These were M800s and M800 uh, Raiden Royal Gold and the M805 uh, Raiden Royal Platinum. These are also uh, very similar to the Sunrise that had come out in terms of uh, width of the stripes uh, and uh, the design of the barrel being straight like that without a step. Um, but again, when you look at the Sunrise or the um, Green Ray side by side with these, uh, it's almost no competition. You know, I keep telling myself uh, that you know I don't need another Raiden pen. That the one of that year was the last one I was going to get, and here I have you know 2016s, 2017s, 2018s, and now 2020s. So obviously uh, I have a thing for uh, the Raiden technique. So this is one of my most favorite pens that Pelican has put out. Uh, as I said in the uh, write up, if I could have one Pelican, it would be a Toledo. But if you let me have two Pelicans, it would be a Toledo in this one. So this is something that's only out in 400 pieces worldwide. It's very expensive, consequently, as the uh, Raiden series usually is. But if this is one you can afford and, and have the opportunity to pick up, uh, you would not be disappointed in doing so. So that is a brief look at uh, 2020's uh, Raiden release from Pelican.